Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. India is endowed with a huge resource base of iron ore and the trading of both iron and steel has been happening since decades. But the buying and selling process of this metal has had many loopholes, bringing in huge losses to the producers and the government. To solve this problem, a company was formed with the alliance of Tata Steel and Sale which successfully eliminated all the bottlenecks and simplified the process of buying and selling of not only iron and steel but also coal. And that company was M Junction. Founded in the year 2001 under the dynamic leadership of Mr. Viresh Oberoi, M Junction is now India's largest e-commerce company and also the world's largest e-marketplace for steel. Well, we were not really the first in this space and we came in much later. The earlier people who had ventured into this space, which is basically setting up a steel marketplace, came out of the United States. So we had companies like Metalside, Ferris Exchange, Global Steel Exchange. These were, had come up in the United States. This was the height of the dot-com. And we heard stories about what they were doing. And these are wondrous stories which were coming out from the United States. And we felt that we should do something about it. And then we started on this journey with Tata Steel, who actually uh, brought in Steel Authority at that point of time as uh, joint venture partners. And we started working together and it lasted for about six months, this wondrous sort of feeling of creating something. And then the dot-com bust happened. A lot of my people who had come to me from Sale and from Tata Steel went back. And they really expected us to shut down shop and go back to our original companies. And that's the time that we decided that we are going to soldier out. That there may be really a true story here somewhere. And maybe some people got it wrong. And maybe we can get it right. And I think we have been able to succeed in doing that today. M Junction has been successful in bringing efficiency, transparency and convenience in the trading of steel and coal in India. With the help of advanced technology, M Junction has eliminated the middleman and sealed the loopholes, resulting in growth in trade and building trust factor among the buyers and the sellers. We focused totally on commerce. So anytime commerce takes place, anytime somebody buys something or somebody sells something, we try to bring about efficiency and transparency in that process of buying and selling with the innovative use of technology and the internet. So we obviously started with steel because that is where we came from, which was from Tata Steel. So our knowledge about that product was very, very strong. The knowledge of that industry was very strong. The knowledge about what problems they were facing was extremely strong. So that was a great place to start and we were able to have some quick wins in terms of disintermediating those middlemen who were actually value destroyed and we were able to make the chain between buyer and seller far more stronger we were able to buy bring about small buyers who were able to buy steel directly from main producers something that they were not able to do so in the past after simplifying the process of selling steel m junction started selling coal through their portal and so far more than 300 million tons of coal has been sold out through the process designed by m junction the buyers of coal have benefited a great deal so we have been able to bring about efficiency and transparency to the coal supply chain as well we then look on the other side of the supply chain which is if we can help companies to sell their products better can we not help them to buy better so obviously what they buy is different to what they're actually selling, which is a finished good. So the raw materials that go into steel manufacturing, the raw materials that go into the chemical industry, the FMCG industry, we worked in terms of how can we bring that about in a much better way, again, with the innovative use of technology. So today we're operating on both sides of the supply chain. When a customer wants to buy raw materials and MRO products and services, we help them to buy better. On the sell side, they want to sell something, we help them to sell better. So there is no end to the amount of industries and sectors that we can move into. So we started off from steel. Today we are in lots of sectors, primarily in this country, but we are making forays outside the country as well. 
distribution of steel was decontrolled in the early 90s, which gave liberty to the producer to sell it at any desired price. But selling of coal was still nationalized and the only company producing coal, that is Coal India, was running through heavy losses. But as soon as M Junction entered the picture, the tides began to change. This was interesting. I was taking a flight from Delhi to Calcutta. And on my side, I had one Mr. Partho Bhattacharya who was sitting with me. He was the CMD of BCCL, Bharat Cooking Coal. And he was very upset with the fact he had just been made CMD of BCCL. And he told me that from the time that BCCL had been nationalized, it had been making losses. And he was very pained with this fact that he had taken over as a CMD of a company which was making losses, where they mine coal and they sell that coal as, say, 600 rupees per ton. But before that delivery order leaves his office building, it has already been traded three times. And it is sold even before it leaves his building, that piece of paper, at a markup of 80 to 100 percent. So he is only getting 50 percent of the value, another 50 percent is being picked up by the middlemen who are trading that piece of paper in his office, in his office building. So this pained him a great deal. And he wanted to know if we had a solution. And we worked out a solution for it. He organized our meeting with the Secretary of Ministry of Coal. We went across to Delhi. We met with this gentleman, a wonderful guy called P.C. Parak at that point of time. And we talked to him, and he, he seemed to like our idea. He picked up the phone and spoke to the chairman, Coal India, Shashi Kumar, and he said, Mr. Oboro is coming to meet you tomorrow, and I want you to start selling coal through the solution that he can sell through in an efficient and transparent manner. And that's how we started off selling coal. Having a platform that serves both buying and selling of metal and coal is one of the many edges that M Junction has over their competitors. Apart from metal and coal, Mr. Viresh Oberoi has few more products in the pipeline that will facilitate the growth of M Junction and open new arenas for them. We, are, we have a, a business unit called Metal Junction which is focused on selling ferrous material. We have Coal Junction which sells coal. We have Auto Junction which is in the automobile space. We have Straight Line which is in the consumer product space. And of course, we have Buy Junction, which is on the procurement side, cutting across industries, cut, cutting across companies, cutting across sectors. And we have now an incubation cell. And in that incubation cell, we are incubating new ideas. One of them, as I mentioned, was tea, where we're doing this procurement of tea. We have done about 8 million kilos of procurement so far. We believe there's a great deal of value we can create as far as T is concerned, and that is where we are moving towards. Other than that, we have got into uh, ocean line chartering. So we're getting into buying ocean line ch chartering for our clients, which itself will become another business unit. Since their inception, M Junction has catered to B2B segment. But now, very recently, the company has started making a steady move in the B2C segment as well. B2B was obviously a good place to start with because it's very focused marketing where I know that he's a producer and he's a buyer so I, I'm actually able to reach out to them and I'm going to be able to discuss with them and I'm able to train them. All these things were important in the early 2000s because as you know, internet was not something which was pervasive. It was used by a very small number. But as the internet gets pervasive, as people start using the internet to buy their daily groceries and the, and the basic because of consumer items, this is the time that we should also get into the consumer space. Because once you get into from a B2B into a B2C space, it, this suddenly opens up. So whatever opportunities that we had in the past would be one-tenth the opportunities which are in existence if we get into the B2C. So that's why we got into the B2C. The success stories of M Junction have been captured in the form of case studies by IIM Kolkata and the London School of Economics. These case studies were not available to the masses. And in order to break that barrier, M Junction decided to chronicle the course of its journey into a book which will help their customers, clients and the audience understand them better. Responsibility to pen down the journey of M Junction was entrusted to Dr. Rajiv Kumar, who is the General Manager of Learning and Development at Tata Services and has also served as a Colonel in the Indian Army. 
the book titled Entrepreneurs at M Junction The Making of an E-Commerce Giant was launched in the presence of Dr Amit Mitra Honorable Minister of Finance West Bengal Mr Videsh Oberai CEO and MD M Junction and the author of the book Dr Rajiv Kumar I must confess to you that uh, when Videsh ji and his colleagues and many of whom are present here who are heads of Tata uh, group companies here came to see the honorable chief minister uh, a very pleasant experience for all of us to exchange notes uh, mr ubarai said what his company does and to be honest with you i knew of the company but i didn't know the inards of the company he just related to the honorable chief minister what he does and she said oh transparency to e process why don't you do this that as a wait a second it has to be through a, a process you remember sir uh, i had the opportunity of going over the book uh, advanced copy before the release uh, i'm very grateful to the author uh, who has done a tremendous job what excited me most was how a private sector and a public sector entity can come together as partners who are competitors and i think as an author you called it intrapreneurship overall my sense is that this is a mixture of intuition analytics market sense something much bigger than just what we as simple management people or economists do from what i learned from the book it's not possible for me to do i cannot put a public sector and a private sector together in this kind of a process which makes money which works together thanks to the city of kolkata a city that had adopted me 16 years ago and which i chose to launch in junction 13 years ago much against the advice of consultants enough cannot be said to thank tata steel who are joined when i was about 21 years old an institution which has made me for who i am today through a process which was both supportive and is also demanding challenging and yet fun which then brings me to the point where i believe i should share with you possibly what we do and more importantly why we do it we are much like the elephant which is got six blind men feeding it from different sides and suggesting that what it is and and none of them actually getting it right to help me to do this i will read out our mission statement which is our purpose very very briefly m junction makes the world a better place creating robust and sustainable sustainable supply chains and distribution networks by bringing in more transparency and efficiency disintermediating value distribution minimum and delivering desired outcomes in m junction when the founders actually appointed viresh to start this company they only made their intention known to him they never told him how to go about it it was he who scanned the business landscape and designed the battle he identified what what in 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 the army we call objectives to be captured he identified opportunities to be captured he found those fleeting opportunities and with his team complete team of entrepreneurs he was able to actually jump from one opportunity to another even before one business had stabilized he was reaching out to launch himself into another business and i think m junction story is primarily what i what i see it is that it's a good example for many other entrepreneurs today who are coming on the scene we keep reading about them e-commerce is you know is on the way up entrepreneurship all the management institutions today are you know starting entrepreneurship training in a big way they are realizing that and there are many students who don't take up corporate jobs nowadays from the best institutes and start their own business so this concept is catching up and this this case study of m junction is primarily is a good example to the coming up generation that you you can dream something you can have a vision and succeed if you continue with your passion and determination and also know how to build a team to make your mission succeed 
Thank you very much. Mr. Viresh Obroy and Dr. Rajiv Kumar also shared their thoughts on the book and answered a few queries of the audience regarding M Junction and its business. To capture the essence of the journey, I will be now sharing a few discussion points with the esteemed panel and if they are kind enough to address those discussion points please. Starting with Mr. Obroy. So what do you think is how does the entrepreneurial spirit or entrepreneurial spirit flourish at M junction well a couple of things and um, every time i meet a young uh, person who's joining our organization uh, my communication to to him or her is very clear which is that everything is up for grab everything is up for change and we invite you to join this movement of making change happen so there is nothing which is cast in stone so there are no firm business models and no firm revenue models come here and practice we will provide you the environment and the platform come and create something so this total freedom is given to them from the first day that they actually walk into our organization thank you sir uh, the next discussion point is for dr mitra uh, so how do you think being based out of calcutta or kolkata has contributed to m junction's growth well i think uh, the first uh, element is that of human capital Uh, I think the Tata Group today, on the whole, employs thirty thousand people. I believe in West Bengal. Am I right? Now, why so? Because obviously there is abundance of human capital. So I would say the first advantage of Kolkata is the quantity, and more importantly, the quality of human capital, which still needs to do more work on. It's work in progress. But that must have been the very first process. M Junction is essentially drawing on that human capital, and of course, everybody wants us to live in a city that's a living city. Dr. Kumar, uh, we had heard about Imagineers at Disney. Now you have named the book as Entrepreneurs at M Junction. Any specific reasons are for naming it Entrepreneurs? Here there is uh, a leader who. whose landscape is very uncertain and he has trained his subordinates to look for opportunities he sets a certain boundary but does not give specific directions on how execution will be done his intent is clear to the subordinates that intention what is the intention of my company what is the intention of my leader that is clear but how that intention is to be converted to action that is left to the subordinates The re-engineering of buying and selling process resulted in exponential growth of M Junction, churning huge profits each year. M Junction vows to not only keep the lamp of transparency and efficiency burning in the metal and coal industry, but the company also believes in contributing to the social and economic development of the community through their CSR activities. We've got the infrastructure in our offices. We've got the IT. We've got the internet connection. Are there people out there? who want to learn this but are not able to learn it because they're financially challenged or they're socially disadvantaged if there are such people out there can we bring them in can we put together a, a curriculum of four months where we would teach them about the computer where we would teach them soft skills english speaking skills and would that make them more employable and that's the journey that we started and that is what has become e junction so e junction today and this is totally voluntary till maybe about a year ago it was 100% voluntary today we have one lady who coordinates the activities and she is a csr person but all the trainers who go into that room to train the people all the people who go out to reach to find who needs to be trained all those people who then reach out to various companies to share with them these people who are trained all this is done by our own people through voluntary work they do this before they come to office they do this after office they do this over weekends this is totally voluntary it gives them a great deal of satisfaction and of course it gives satisfaction to the people who are getting trained who we are making employable 
Under M Junction Portal, the company has different verticals such as metaljunction.com, buyjunction.in, coaljunction.in, valuejunction.in, financejunction.in, straightline.in, and M Junction Edge. With a mission to make the world a better place, M Junction continues to strike each opportunity with force and mitigates risks to create transparency and sustainable supply chain with the help of technology and innovative solutions.